vlog number 232, Sunday, July 14, 2024, 8 o'clock a.m. Once again, this vlog is not a usual vlog. Tomorrow will be a much more usual vlog because I go back to Eureka and, and a lot of the day is spent in Eureka, so this will be the final kind of different vlog. But day two of me being in Las Vegas, this was the first and only full day, so I'm going to get right into this. So. When I got up, I was watching uh, the Wimbledon Championships with Novak Djokovic and Carl Zacharias. If you remember a few vlogs ago, I said that I would miss it. Unfortunately, I did get up very late, though. I'm not really late. I didn't get up that late, um, but I went to my phone. Since everything in Las Vegas earlier, it was started at like 7 o'clock, so I missed the first hour and a half of it or so. When I went to my phone in the morning, I got a notification that said, live, watch now. And I said an hour ago, so I turned on the TV, and Novak Djokovic was getting killed when I turned it on. He lost the first set 6-2. I think he lost both sets 6-2, so I was like, oh man, really? So I knew at that time it was probably more likely or not than over third set. Novak made it a match, but eventually Alcaraz won in three sets to win Wimbledon. I was kind of disappointed, but I really wanted Novak Djokovic to win, but... I just sat there in the morning trying to figure out what we were doing. At 9.41, we all left the room. At 9.47, we got to the pool at the Mirage. My sister and mom stayed there. Me and my dad went and started walking to the sphere. We left the pool 10 minutes later at 9.57. Left the Mirage at 10.01. Walked across the street. Entered Harrah's 10.06. Left Harrah's 10.17. We walked uh, upstairs. We looked at, um, there was a theater up there where everything happens. I don't remember it. I don't remember who was in it, but that's what we walked by the theater. T 10.18 got into the Casino Royale. At 10.24, we went into the back, and my dad got a corn dog from the footlong hot dog place that was there. There's a footlong hot dog place, then there's Subway, and then there's Pizza Hut. We got that at 10.24. Left there at 10 at 10.30. It took forever to make for some reason. And something I remember is I was sitting at one of the casino games waiting. There was nobody in this place. And the guy came up and said, are you sitting here? He started playing the machine. I don't know why he decided to play the exact machine I was on, but it really kind of annoyed me. We were at the corner place for 16 minutes because it took a really long time. Left Harris at 10.31, entered the Venetian at 10.35, entered the Palazzo at 10.40, and then we just followed the signs, went outside, started walking down the street. It was extremely hot. Um, at 10.57, we got to the sphere, entered there, uh, stood in line for an hour. There's a ton of people there. We entered the place at 11.43, and then for 20 minutes, we walked around, saw all the robots, all the different things, went up the thousand escalators. I mean, we were at the very, very top. We sat down 20 minutes later at 12.03, then the show started at 12.15. I'll put in a little clips. 12.16, the show started, ended at 1.04. It was a great show. We left the Spirit at 1.14, walking back through the hotels, entered the Venetian at 1.20. 1.28, we left. At 1.35, we entered Harrah's. Left there a minute later at 1.36. So at this point, when we're, we're just walking through all the hotels, we're not looking at anything. 1.37, we got into the link. We left at 1.38. And then 1.42, we went into the promenade and went to in and out my, my mom and sister were already there. They got us a seat, so we ordered in and out Left there 40 minutes later. Uh, I had a cheeseburger. Well, some of it fell on the ground, and I got a picture of me trying to pick it up. It's kind of funny. Right as we left the place, another person came and took our spot. We left there. I got a, a small cup of Sprite. No, I think it was a Coke, actually. I don't know what it was. It was a small cup, so I could actually carry it. We left in and out at 2.22. We didn't know where we were going. We were trying to get to the monorail. We ended up entering the Link parking garage at 2.30. We didn't know where we were going. And then finally, 2.41, got on the monorail. This time, there was nobody there. 2.46, we left the monorail, got out at MGM Grand. We went in there for 20 minutes, 3.06, left the MGM Grand. At 3.13, we entered Hershey's World, the upper level. And unfortunately, nobody else wanted to go down to the bottom level, so we... Did not go in it, but don't worry. I went in there a little bit later. Left there three minutes later, 3.16. 3.29, we stopped at the Big Apple Coaster. Because my sister and mom were going to ride that. 4.12, we left New York, New York. During those 42 minutes, I was just walking around. Looked at the sports book. Looked at all New York, New York. Didn't leave New York, New York. Looked at a little bit of the arcade. I found a game card in there, so I kept it. Which was awesome. At 4.17, we entered... The park MGM on my notes, I wrote Monte Carlo because that's what it was. That's where Dodgeball was filmed. 4.30, we left. 4.32, we re-entered park MGM. 4.37, we left. I'm trying to think of why on earth. You know what? This is the... Th yep. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. At 4.30, we left and went on to the monorail. We got on the monorail, but I didn't know if it was right. So my mom, sister, and I got off of it, but my dad was not able to. 
So he got there. He went by himself, and I was like, I'm not waiting for the next monorail. So I started walking by myself again. I le I re-entered Park MGM at 4.32, left at 4.37, and then I went to the shops Crystal 4.42, left there 4.44, and then 4.45, the bridge that goes over that over the road to the Cosmopolitan. There was a lady playing Wake Me Up on the violin. I just had to write that down because it was such a cool moment. 4.52, got to the Bellagio. Literally right as I walked in, my parents walked out because they wanted to watch the fountains. So at 5 o'clock, I watched the fountains, and for whatever reason, the fountain show during the day was a thousand times better than the one at night. I don't know why the fountains were way, way bigger. It's kind of disappointing, but I remember at this time, I was so unbellievably thirsty. 5.09, we went back into the Bellagio to get through to Caesars Palace, 5.13 Caesars Palace. At 5.19, we stopped at DeFera Pizza inside Caesars Palace. Uh, I just got a drink. I got a red Powerade fountain drink. I was going to get lemony, but it didn't work for some reason, so that was really unfortunate. 5.40, got back to the Mirage. 5.45, got to our room. Left 17 minutes later because we were going to go to Ka. The only reason we went back to the room is so we could drop off our bags because bags were not allowed. Okay, so wait six minutes later after leaving the room, we got to the Uber area. 6.13, we got into an Uber. At 6.32, we got to the MGM Grand. I'm going to mention this right now. The Uber driver on the way to the MGM Grand was the best one I've ever had. His name was Chris. I don't remember his last name. Um, but he worked at T-Mobile Arena, and he was so... I liked him a lot more than anybody else. He was... He knew what he was talking about. He's great to have conversations with. We were originally going to go to New York, New York, because when we went to the Uber app, it didn't come up with anything. So we just put in New York, New York, but luckily the guy took us to MGM Grand because we told him to. I, I mean, I liked him. I by far my favorite Uber driver of all time. I wish we could have had him the entire time. He spoke perfect English, and like everybody else we seem to have. So that was cool. I, had, I just have to mention that. Chris, Uber driver from T-Mobile, nicely done. 6.39, we entered the Ka Theater in MGM Grand. Such show started at 7 o'clock. I got a large Sprite and a souvenir cup from MGM Grand and some popcorn. 8.32, the show ended, so we went on for an hour and a half. After the show ended, we went into the gift shop area, took some photos, and then left into the Uber area, 903 the Uber. And I was really annoyed with the Uber. He made us throw out our drinks because there were no drinks allowed, and I was not happy with that at all because I had so much. Made it back to the Mirage at 916, entered our room six minutes later. 938, we left the room to go down to the volcano, watched the volcano one final time outside, and then we walked across the street to Harrah's 1008. We went to Pizza Cake, got Pizza Cake at 1010, left at 1016. That was like basically dinner. Everybody had a slice. Re-entered the Mirage at 1020. Watched the volcano at 11 o'clock and then at 1116. I, with my dad, left the Mirage. We entered Walgreens at 1138 because I was so thirsty. I got a, I think it was an orange Gatorade, red Gatorade, whatever it was. I think it was orange, orange Gatorade. We left there at 1142 and then I started walking by myself. 11.53, entered the Bellagio. And two minutes later, when I was walking through the casino, I find this pretty cool. The speakers were playing the National Anthem, but it was the one by Whitney Houston, which is known as one of the greatest renditions of the National Anthem ever. So that was very cool. 12.03, got to the conservatory. I got a souvenir ticket thing. Before I went to um, Walgreens, uh, we went uh, to the casino and I played one of the machines and got one of the Mirage vouchers for a dollar to keep as a souvenir. So I have to mention that. 12.08, the Badera. 12.10 left. 12.12 12 area. 12.16 left. 12.18 back in area. 12.24 back in Badera. I had absolutely no clue where I was going. I was like going in a circle. I was trying to get to Excalibur because I hadn't done it yet. I got stuck in Badera and I couldn't get out of it. So or eventually I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go back to so 12.26 Cosmopolitan. Started walking back, 12.40, I entered the Bellagio, 12.41, left it, at 12.52, I entered the Mirage, got back, took a shower, watched some sports center, and that was that for the night. So that's what I did in my first full day, and only day, in Las Vegas. Tomorrow is going to be a much different vlog, I mean, kind of, it's going to be the same, I'm going to talk like this, but then for the second part of the vlog, we'll just be back to normal, so if you enjoyed this vlog, and see you tomorrow.